Hey guys, what's up? It's RJ, Road to Liberty. <clears throat> try homeless day, I don't know what. Um, basically, letting you guys know, I'm pulling the fog on Try Homeless. Uh, hopefully. Um, I got a hotel room this morning. It's uh, June 1st. And um, I was sick for the past two days. As you can tell, I have a cold sore on my lip. Um, it's kind of embarrassing, but I want you guys to see what it's like. Um, I didn't take notes for this video because I didn't want to put any other time between me and recording the actual video because I have a limited amount of time before I'm getting out of town where I'm at. Um, but I'm just going to freeform it and get as much out as I can. Uh, basically, the Humboldt County situation is good and bad, but camping out in the woods is pretty rough. And I got sick. and. Uh, I'm feeling better now. I took NyQuil for two nights in a row, and I've been on some uh, ibuprofen tablets, uh, fresh vegetables, water. Um, but yeah, those two nights spent shivering in a tent, and then you know waking up in the middle of the night, having to uh, release uh, waste from various locations. Uh, you know, the the closest actual toilet was you know a good quarter mile down a mountain to the street. So I made that trip at 4 a.m. this morning. I made that trip at 2 a.m. the previous night and um, doing a lot of sleeping. And uh, so my grand conclusion is that the homeless lifestyle is anything to be taken lightly. It's not anything that I would really... My initial hope... Oh, speaking of which, let me show you my rash. I don't know if you guys remember from the earlier videos I had a slight rash. Uh, hoping this is nothing, but, you know... It's not swollen but it's sort of spread. So when I get to where I'm going uh, from here, um, which is towards a more developed city type area, I'm gonna have that probably looked at at a clinic and see if there's anything I have to worry about with that or do about that. Um, I just took my first shower this morning that I've had in about two weeks. So I did that for about an hour. I just pretty much stood under the hot water and you know, this whole experience has really given me a lot of uh, chances to, to really reflect on what I um, what I've had in the past that's going good for me in my life, and what I really want for myself in the future, as well as you know what I'm able to create in my present moment. And when it comes down to creating freedom and creating liberty for yourself, you know, living on the road, living in tents, um, you know, participating in uh, gray or dark market activities if you, if you include that all the alternative lifestyle ways of getting by are all packaged in with their degree of risk and um, you know everyone has to find their own balance of what makes sense um, but at the end of the day you know I decided for me that the homeless situation was too much um, strain so I'm actually uh, probably going to be Sorry for all the instant message noise in the background. I'm probably going to be um, rendezvousing back with um, uh, a close friend of mine. Actually, uh, romantic uh, interest. Some of you guys know uh, Sarah from a few uh, previous Roads to Liberty episodes. We took a little a uh, sia uh, siesta. I don't know. That's not what I want to say. Basically, we took a little break. Um, we both had to do some soul searching, and for me, part of this try homeless thing was to like really test and see if I could be more productive without a home. Like if I was just going to libraries and Starbucks and all that. And for the first few days, it was I was I was in the you know Wi-Fi zones in AppSeekin and in Freehold pretty much at least a few hours a day. I was getting work done. I was moving the ball forward. Uh, luckily, nothing really got too messed up um, in my business. But at the end of the day. The past few days, me getting sick, especially like I mean, that would have been the case anyway. But you know, I was feeling myself deteriorate, and I realized I have resources um, in terms of like my girl Sarah and my family, and um, you know, friends in other areas, and and also my tiny audience that I do have who's watching Road Celebrity and who reads the site RoadCelebrity.com and follows us on Twitter Road Celebrity, Facebook Road Celebrity, and all that. Um, but whatever. So. Um, I made a donation page, Road to Liberty forward slash donate. Um, truthfully, there's a lot of better causes to donate to right now in Liberty. Um, I'm pussying out of doing um, Try Homeless, so to speak, for now. I'm going to release a few more videos that, um, 
you know, or like afterthought videos that are more topic driven and talk about specific aspects of what happened and, you know, the things that I couldn't get all into this video. And there's a lot of stuff that I couldn't get to you guys. And that was a part of the problem too, is that I was hoping that by not having to pay for a home and by not having to have a full-time job, I'd be able to create more content, but just trying to survive and get from A to B and you know, eat food and make a dollar and, and whatnot. Um, I barely had time to even keep my computer charged, let alone be at Wi-Fi, let alone be at Wi-Fi long enough to upload a video. So you guys are going to get a really haggard looking version of me, which you've gotten for the past few videos. But that's part of the whole scene of Try Homeless. And then, um, you know, hopefully you'll see me kind of uh, clean up a little bit in the next few videos. I'm going to keep doing some videos. I think that's a cool format. It gives me a chance to reach people on YouTube and a chance to reach people uh, because on the blog site on RoadToLiberty.com, I'm releasing these videos embedded in blog posts where I provide a little insight and analysis, you know, or a little summary. Um, sometimes some relevant links, sometimes not. Um, but it's just another piece of content for the website as well. Um, little housekeeping work. We're still looking for guest writers. So if you see this or if you, um, yeah, I guess you'd have to see this, but, um, yeah, shoot us an email at roads liberty at gmail.com or just, uh, hit us on the Facebook or Twitter and, uh, let us know you want to write and, uh, we can get you started. It's really low bar to clear. You have to be a voluntarist. You have to not believe in using aggression. So NAP or similar, um, I'm open to new viewpoints. I'm open to some, you know, new ideas um, being presented in intelligent ways so um, we are willing to pay for good content as well um, so that's that on that note um, <clears throat> I really wanted to just stress in this video how hard it was for me to be homeless especially in Humboldt County and camping um, our camp that we were in I didn't want to talk about it too much while I was there because I didn't know how long I was going to be there. I didn't want to give away anything to blow anyone's cover because these camps are off the grid, so to speak. They're not, um, you know, sanctioned camps or, you know, permitted camps or whatever. They're just off, off the, you know, roadway, off into the woods. And these camps were, like I said, about a quarter mile up a hill. So there was a few tents. There was a few tarps hung. There was um, some people that were just sleeping straight out, you know, in nature. But not much. Most people had a shelter. Um, I was fortunate that um, because of the group that I came in with, I was kind of like in favorable company, so to speak, and I was able to be put into one of the tents. So, because um, I didn't have my own tent um, and I didn't have my own sleeping bag until like the second or third day when I had some money for that. Luckily, it was like the day before I got sick. So, um, what else? So my plan is to go back towards civilization, so to speak. Um, I'll probably be living in a weekly hotel situation um, when I get to where I'm going, which is in Colorado. Um, and then save up money and try to get, you know, a uh, more permanent, like at least a monthly rental with my girl, uh, either in Colorado or probably in Colorado, probably near, because she has a job out there too, so... Um, Yep, my goal was to, you know, transition from Try Homeless into, like I said, some recap content and then get back into hitting more topic-driven stuff for Roads Liberty. We had, um, we had some good guest content recently. We, we um, exposed um, the Trans-Pacific uh, Trans Partnership. I don't want to say exposed, but we provided some new light on that, new insight on that. Um... And we have some new content coming your way as well. So, you know, we're doing what we can on, on our side. I'm going to be able to put more time into it, hopefully, being on Wi Fi 24 7. Um, I'll touch on some more stuff in the next few videos. I want to talk about the way that people got by, the type of camaraderie or type of, you know, people there were. Um, there's a lot of interesting things that I want to talk about, but I, I don't want to just do it scattered. So this is kind of like the overview of letting you guys know that Try Homeless is kind of hopefully coming to a close. I hope to get myself under a full-time structure, sleeping in beds every night again. Um, my fear is like almost getting stuck in homelessness, like to where like, not just financially, but psychologically, like if I wasn't able to put myself back to a normal 
cycle. I think it's the same kind of philosophy or fear that people have that don't want to try, you know, drinking or smoking marijuana or, you know, another drug or whatever it may be because they're afraid that they might like it too much and they might go down a path they can't turn around um, on. And I guess the people that have told me, like, good job and thank you, congratulations or whatever, you know, people have been kind of encouraging me to do this and, you know, cheering me on. I've sort of said that, like, you know, anyone that pushes their boundaries and, uh, you know, that sort of thing is, you know, it's worth taking notice of or whatever. So, you know, that was the intent. And at the end of the day, I definitely got a taste of that. But I want to give you guys a little bit more organized uh, recaps of that. So I'll try to break it down to, you know, little segments, little stories about different things. And I'll intermix that with... Um, <clears throat> with the regular Road Celebrity content that I usually create, which is kind of more current events type stuff and big level policy analysis. I want to do something on how the uh, Patriot Act expired like yesterday, and now there's this Freedom Act thing that's just being pushed to the forefront, which is going to be like the sweet, like the, like the um, sugar free, no calorie sweetener version of the Patriot Act is going to be able to do the same thing. Actually, I mean, a rough overview, I don't know if this is exactly accurate, but what I understand from watching RT today is that it's the new Freedom Act is not going to let the government bulk collect, but it'll, it'll I don't know if it's going to force or allow big telecom companies to bulk collect. I think it's going to force them to bulk collect by policy. I guess on the pretense is that the information is more secure because it's not directly in the NSA's hands, but I would question that validity of that way of thinking because I think the NSA probably has back doors into all these companies. So any information that's stored, I would imagine the NSA or CIA or Homeland Security could get access to that. And plus, they only, you know, they only need to issue a whatever. Um, I don't know all the status acronyms, but you got to issue some sort of a status decree, and then you're able to get access to whatever information you want. So. That's always been the case, and the government has really never been denied access to information by any private companies in any notable cases anyway, so the notion that they need to make it explicit in writing that they're not allowed to be denied is a little frightening, I would say, um, but it's just good for me to be back sort of looking at my YouTube subscription feed and looking at my stats on my website and looking at what's happening in the world so I can provide my analysis and recap on it and hopefully collect a few more people into the liberty crowd and get people's minds thinking about individual freedom and personal liberty, um, property rights, non-aggression principle, and, you know, the principle of property rights. You know, I mean, I probably said that already, but, you know, so true in Wall Street as it is in the campsite in Humboldt County. You know, bartering works, you know, the notion of, you know, individualism versus collectivism is, is huge. Um, there's definitely a fight taking place there between the, you know, introverts and the extroverts trying to, extroverts trying to sort of force people into a more collectivist mindset and the introverts sort of trying to passively escape the collectivist or, I don't want to say all extroverts are more collectivist, but I noticed that more so, um in this area but that may not be very scientific so nonetheless I want to cut this short before it gets too long-winded and takes forever to upload so it's a good you know 15 minutes or so um, any ideas for shows or any ideas for content you want to see us cover uh, any feedback just leave it in the comments shoot us on Twitter Facebook um, in the comments section on the website roadsliberty.com uh, this is the end of hashtag try homeless for now. Uh, we'll give you more on the experience and the lessons I learned uh, in the upcoming videos. All right, guys. Take care.